AWAP. And today we're actually talking about doing uh, AWAP errors with uh, some examples and some binary examples. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. We're down to the last few videos in the series. Um, thank you guys for all your support. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in here and get started talking about Aram's. All right, so Aram's label and examples and binders, right? So Aram's is something that I think most motor pools, maintenance managers, shop offices fail at because we don't understand Aram's. I think we overcomplicate Aram's. It's supposed to be the Army system of record where I should be able to go into any office and we should all be on the same filing system. We should all understand it, right? So personally, like my favorite whole thing in the Army, or not Army, but maintenance, I love Arams. It's taken me quite a few years to understand Arams, but once you get the hang of it, you're, you're set. Now, right now, there's a change in what I think we're on Arams 3. So it used to be, uh, you know, back in the, not the old, old days, I'm not that old, but like, you uh it used to be like you could pick 700 alpha 800 delta 750 750 alpha you know all that those days are gone now we actually drill down to the individual uh arams uh record and labels right so when we're talking about arams there's certain references and resources we're going to use to build these labels uh for example ar 25-400-2 that's your arams bio is what i call it your DAPAM 25-403, which is your guide to record keeping. Of course, you're going to need your maintenance SOP, uh, any battalion brigade policies you may have, AOAP policies and procedures. So here's Aaron's website right here, right? So once you get to this site, you will uh, hit accept. Now with Aaron's, you do need an account. And in order to create labels, you do need an approved oral, right? So I'm going to get ready to do a full series on Arams from start to finish on how to register, how to actually build all of the Arams labels per uh, CMDP topic to know what we should be uh, having in our filing cabinets, right? And actually show you guys what an Arams filing cabinet is supposed to look like. So once you get into Arams, you're going to log in with your CAC. Like I said, you're going to need uh, an account, right? So this is my account for my unit. I'm currently in the FSC. So I handle all the Aram's labeling for my FSC. Um, you know, I, and it's pretty cool because I, I have a bunch of young, young soldiers, especially in my Seaburn Army homo section. And I have completely worked with them one on one. And I have showed them how to actually run their operations in those rooms off of the great inspection the CNDP inspection, and then, of course, uh, any battalion OIP inspections. So it came in handy because, you know, I worked with them, setting up the errors filing step by step with them, and they received a bunch of ask accolades during the great inspection and the three quarter inspection a couple weeks ago for their outstanding record keeping, right? But as a senior leader, most of your maintenance managers are going to be senior leaders, right? Make sure that you're spending the time needed to mentor and coach and teach these younger generations because we are not going to be here forever right but the time we are here it is our job to ensure that they're going to succeed and like outperform us all right so here you are it's your screen now a few things i ask myself when i'm creating errors labels right so what am i going to keep records of is my oral approved for that label are there hard copies or electronic copies, right? So a lot of this, you know, Army is really pushing this uh, Microsoft Teams. So we need to make sure that Microsoft Teams, um, you know, we, we we say where our records are located, right? So there's an actual form that we do file that says, hey, this record is kept in this location, right? But you do file that in your filing cabinet. That's your uh, 1610, I believe it is, but we're gonna get into that. So another thing to ask is what does the CNDP grade inspection sheets tell me to track? So a great way to set up your errors filing system is to look at the checklist and it's going to tell you, okay, checklist A, publications. All right, so we already know these are all the publications we need. So there's nothing wrong about taking an errors label and saying, hey, publications. And all you need to do is put that 1610 record cross-reference form saying, hey, all these publications, you know, these record numbers are located in Microsoft Teams, this folder on this computer. That's simple. So I think a lot of times we over, uh, 
I don't know. We overthink stuff, right? So Arams is supposed to be fast, quick, easy way to find data. Like I said, you're supposed to go be able to go into any military room or a military unit, and we should all be on the same filing system. If we're all the same filing system, it should, it, I mean, that's the way this whole program was designed. So, like I said, the CMDP checklist, you know, so we already know you just will establish an AOP program, right? So that's telling me that I should have my SOP annex, something like that, right? Uh, we'll assign train AOAP monitors, all right? So I know I need appointment orders. I know I may need training certificates, right? Then we look and we're looking at, okay, 3255Rs, you know, are they complete? So these are certain things I look for, you know? So folder ideas, right? So Older ideas for uh, AOAP, you know, appointment orders, company, and battalion. Maybe your master list of all components enrolled in the program. Your company, battalion, uh, AOAP annex from your SOPs. Your AOP monitor training search. Maybe some 3255Rs. Of course, your operator mechanic AOAP training uh, and training rosters. If you hadn't had a chance, go back and watch a few videos ago when we talked about adding sustainment training to our DTMS unit calendars for operators and maintainers for AOAP, right? So just some ideas, and then your DA form 5991 echoes. So here you go. Here's your errors record number for oil analysis record, which is your 750-8 November. So like I said, errors has changed. Um, TMD has got its own record number. There's a Many, many things that have changed. You actually drill down to the actual record number if you want to do errands properly and correctly. So a few things to um, note. If something does need a Privacy Act statement, there will be a Y here, okay? So it's going to tell you, and usually when you print the label, it will print the Privacy Act statement for you, all right? So let's build some labels, right? So once you actually go in and you're going to create a folder, right? So you're always going to use your office symbol. You know, for me, it's FSC uh, minus FY23 is my record listing. And then from here, anything that I have approved on my oral will show up here, right? So if 750-8 November is approved, I'm able to make that folder, create that label. So names of folders. So most people get a little frustrated here. They think that they can only put um, one label here. But if you do one label, hit enter and do the next line, that's gonna be two different labels, right? So if you look here, company AWAP SOP, battalion AWAP SOP, AOP monitor training search, 3254 R's, operator mechanic AWAP training, all that'll be here. Now the most important piece here is electronic or hard copy. If you don't click hard copy, it's not gonna give you the ability to actually print the, uh, the labels. Now, if you want two of these labels, which I always normally do anytime I make labels, I'll do two or three of each. That way, when I file my errands, I always have extra labels in the filing cabinet just in case I do need one or need to expand a certain folder. All right. Um, like I said, you'll click the little box here for count, and I want two labels of each. All right. So this doesn't index for a special collection. I'm not going to freeze code any of this stuff. And then once I get all this filled up, I'm going to add folders. So once you add folders, it's going to populate all your folders times two down here. Now, once that's done, what you'll do is you'll hit submit. Once you hit submit, then you go to a screen, you're going to go print your labels. So here are your labels actually printed, right? So if you look at, actually, I haven't done the video yet, but there's a video coming where I'm going to show you guys actually how to set up your filing cabinets with your guide folder, your dummy folder, and then of course your your transaction folders behind it, right? So, you know, this is our main record number right here, 750-8 November, right? So if you look here, this would be our, our guide folder, 750-8 November oil analysis, oil analysis record, right? And then it's gonna be our dummy folder, 750-8 November oil analysis. Then all the other folders behind that could follow suit, which are your appointment orders, um, like, I took, like we talked about, AOAP training, your training certs, Battalion AOAP SOP, right? So as long as it's uniform, there is really no correct way to do it. But you need to make sure the way you set up your filing cabinet is the way you set it up for all of it. So <clears throat> I know for me, being an FSC, when I was helping the uh, maintenance section set up their uh, era filing system, we got five companies. So 
we built the first one and then every one of them mirrored each other. The only one that was different was the FSC because that's where all of our Z Pro stats were, all of our ordering, our MROs, all that stuff, right? Our soft stock, bed stock. That was the only thing that was different, but everything else was built the same, all right? So you can save your labels, and once you save your labels, it'll come up in here like this and like a PDF. So this is cool because you can save it onto your desktop or in a folder, and then come FY24, all you have to do is copy your oral for the previous year. And then if you wanted to, you could just go in here and change these dates right here to FY24. And now your FY24 labels are already good, as long as you have the approved oral for the actual records of what you're keeping. So please keep that in mind. Here's that cross reference uh, uh, form I was telling you about, the 1613. I'm sorry, I misspoke. I thought it was 1610. So your cross reference form, this is a really cool form. All it's going to tell you, you know, the records number and then summary. So all you're going to say is you're going to list like, I don't know, for example, publications, right? The following publications are blah, 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 blah. AR 750-1, 750-8, you know, technical bulletin. These forms are located on a disk in First Star Valor's office and building, blah, blah, blah. Just saying where these records are kept. Now, when it comes to CDs, make sure that we understand that even CDs require an ARAMS label, all right? So now we're going to get into binder examples. So I don't know, I'm a, I personally don't like binders. Like, I'd rather have everything in the filing cabinet. There are certain things to speed the process up with binders, but there's just a lot to maintain, right? So, binder example. So, for example, you know, you could have, you know, your ARMS uh, regulations and uh, DA PAMs in one binder. You know, 800 Delta, 06 uh, is the the uh, is the years of retainability, administration of housekeeping, right? Another regulation here, another regulation, then maybe your unit maintenance SOP. You know, one thing you have to remember when you're doing errands, right? So if you got multiple records in one one file, you have to list what is in that file. All right. Here's another one: Arming or Analysis Program Master Listing, Appointment Order Certs and Orders, AYP Supply Binder, maybe an Inventory NSN Reference, right? You know, with different references. 5991 to 30Q54s, training, AOP, GSS Army Battle Book. I created a battle book for my maintenance section to quickly reference and get stuff done in the Army. So I hope this video is helpful. Like I said, uh, we are going to build and expand on our Aram's um, system and Aram's um, video series. It's going to be a really big series because we're going to take the whole CBP checklist and great and go section by section and show you guys actually how to build all those labels for all those sections. And then when we do that, I'm going to post all the stuff in the, my uh, Microsoft Teams. That way you guys can quickly and easily uh, grab it as long as your oral is approved. All right. So like I said, we can share labels all day long, but if we have to have an approved oral for us. So without further ado, um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And as always, go ordinance. Thank you.